Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks so much for watching this video. This is my review of the Logitech G502 Proteus Core. Now for FPS games, if you're playing any type of FPS game, you need to check out this mouse. It's awesome. As you can see, there's grips on the side here. Nice matte black finish with a rubberized texture and that sick looking G logo. And here's uh, the other side of the mouse with more grips. Basically, you're not slipping when you use this mouse. So here's a cool effect that I like, or a little feature, which is a free spinning mouse wheel that I like to play with all the time. And you can lock it up to have a normal scroll wheel if you want. So I think this is a new standard, or like the standard for <laughs> all mice and keyboards. Now it's the braided cable. So uh, it's nice, it has the braided cable which adds strength and longevity. So on the bottom here, uh, Logitech is claiming that this is the best sensor on the market. So it has uh, anywhere from 200 dpi to 12,000 dpi which is nice and fast. And their acceleration, which is like 40 G's, makes a very, very accurate sensor. And not only that, it has interchangeable weights. As you can see here, you can really customize the weight of your mouse, which is really good for FPS. Um, it really does help your game. And I didn't know if I'd like a heavy mouse until I used this. And um, I actually like to keep all the weights in there. You can have it back heavy, front heavy, side heavy, really anything you want. But like I said, I just keep them all in there. And here's the magnetic door that just clips back on there which is pretty nice and here's just another angle of that Boop. I like that so there are a lot of buttons on this all mechanical by the way which are nice there are 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 programmable buttons which you can customize every single one in the Logitech gaming software So you can see the nice, sleek, smooth edges on this mouse, accompanied by the sharp edges, which are pretty cool. It makes it look like the thing's going to transform or something. You can see it's nice and mechanical looking. And I have a small to medium hand, and this fits my hand spot on. I like it a lot. So here's the Logitech gaming software that I was talking about. You can customize anything from your lighting to your DPI profiles and uh, to what the buttons actually do so here's the lighting you got brightness settings and stuff like that this nice cool breathing effect you can go really slow or you can go really fast I just leave this off I don't really use it because my mouse my hand is on the mouse at all times anyway so and then here's your DPI lighting you can choose to have this on or off um, I could see having it on would be nice because then you could see what profile you're in at all times. But I just leave this off. So here's the DPI button, which allows for on the fly DPI, which is really, really cool. If you switch weapons in a game or something like that, you can switch your DPI profiles. So overall, guys, this mouse, I love it. It's really, really good. Like I said, especially for FPS, it's like. It's a really nice go-to mouse, so I really recommend it. Alright, there you go guys. I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think about this mouse. If you want to follow me on my social networks, they're right there. And Instagram is coming soon, so that's awesome. And if you want to check out some of my other videos, you can click on the one that's playing down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down there too. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, look in the description if you want to get some gung ho. I'm trying to get a review for that. And uh, hopefully it'll come out really soon. Keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.